Hello, so today we're going to talk about mass selection using begonias as our subject. My wife loves begonias. They're all over the house. All these pictures are actually from plants that we have in the house. Uh, so for this example, what I wanted to try and do is increase the, the number of spots per leaf on the plants. Uh, those plants, those particular plants are really pretty. Um, so that's what we're going to try and do today. Uh, these are our given values. The broad sense heritability is going to be 0 0.85, the narrow sense being 0 0.67, and we're going to assume the trait is normally distributed. So these are going to be our initial numbers. Uh, the mean of the original population is going to be 140 spots per leaf. The standard deviation is going to be 23 spots. And these are our broad sense and narrow sense heritability numbers again. Okay, so what we're going to be doing is selecting the top 10% of our population. So using the table over here, we can see that our p-value is going to be 0 0.01. That means our i-value, the selection intensity, is going to be 1.755. And our standardized point selection, z, is going to be 1.282. Uh, so that's our original mean. The selection differential is going to be i times the standard deviation. So that gives us 40.37. The selected parent mean is going to be our original population mean plus the selection differential giving us 180.37 the response to selection is going to be our narrow sense value times our uh, selection differential giving us 27.05 our truncation point is just going to be our mean of original population times the z value times the standard deviation which is going to equal 169.486 and then our the mean of our progeny is going to be our uh, mean value, our original mean population, mean of population, plus the response to the selection. That's going to give us 167.05. Okay, so here we have all those numbers uh, represented on the histogram. So we can see our original mean of population 140 and how in the next generation that moves over by 27.05. So that in our next population, we have a mean of 167.05. Okay, so if you wanted to continue this experiment, there are going to be limits to what you can do. Uh, you can't just increase a trait indefinitely. So uh, as you continue breeding for this particular trait, genetic variation is going to be lost because you're limiting the population. Um, the trait could actually end up being harmful. So in this case, maybe too many spots is harmful because it hampers photosynthesis. Um, it could also be tied to negative traits. So uh, in this case, maybe the number of spots is also uh, connected to a gene that makes the plant more susceptible to some type of disease or something like that. So you can't continue something like this uh, indefinitely.